We got a viewer that does Baguan Tai Chi. He's the one that's in the tank top and he's taking on a Muay Thai guy. Muay Thai guy got the headgear. So he does Ying style Bagua and he does Chen style Tai Chi. So oof, a little bit off balance. Trying some head movement right there. Um, One of his hands is a little down. Oh, face is open. Muay Thai guy has the standard Muay Thai guard and Ooh, with his hands down or viewer. Viewer's name is Justin. So give him props to trying. And guys, keep it conservative. Did I say conservative? Oh my goodness. Keep it constructive. I said conservative. Keep it constructive. I mean, yeah, keep your um keep your mean comments conservative, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah. Um Okay, a little there's a I guess there's a little bit of a Superman punch to a ooh, face is open again to a kick. Oof. I don't know. If your style, whether the Bagua or the Tai Chi does the hands down, man. But this is really not working in this sparring match. The He's trying to check the kicks too, but he's not angling the checking of the kick correctly. Although he is sort of more using his knee than using his shin, which is fine. But still, the angle is not completely correct. Um, good you have a mouth guard, man, considering how much... Okay. Um, not the right range for that kick. Also have to set it up. How much your face is open. But Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, that guy went to the body. Okay, that was a attempt at a very interesting game. Might have had grappling intentions there, but it looks like this is sort of more trying to do kickboxing. Ooh, he ate a little backfish by the Muay Thai guy. Mm. Oh, why would you... Push that lead hand of the Muay Thai guys out of the way if you're not going to follow that up with something. Oof. Especially he parried. His own hand went very, very away. Like almost to his pelvis level. Oh, uh oh, he got swept. Good on the um, Muay Thai guy for being very, very um, controlled. Oof. So he's trying. It's like a really interesting. You see that type of, um, I guess you would call it a shuffle inside. Did I say shuffle and sidekick? Sorry, shuffle in roundhouse kick. You sort of see it in JKD. I've seen JKD guys throw. I don't know what it's officially called, but I call it a shuffle in roundhouse kick. Oh, attempt at catching the leg. Oof, oof. I, if I were to give our viewer one thing is you got to have those two hands be better defensively, man. Having your hands there at your... Um, thoracic level or at your um core level is not working. Like Muay Thai guys, maybe a one punch to the face. You've eaten like at least six or seven. Shout out viewer Justin. And like I said in the video, if you guys want to give them some constructive feedback besides the stuff I gave, please feel free to just keep mean comments to minimum because he put himself out there. So we got to thank him for that and give him some good constructive feedback. Also, personal updates, it seemed like partly some of the health issues I was going through was still related to a neck that was imbalanced. So recently, I've found some other neck exercises that were different than the ones I was doing because the ones I was doing, they were building neck muscle, but it wasn't reminding my head to stay in a neutral position. You know, I'm on the computer a lot editing, making videos, I'm just on the phone sometimes. So one of the things I've been doing now when I go out to take a walk or even sometimes when I'm using the computer, I put a towel or something on my head and notice what it does. It forces your neck to stay kind of in the neutral position. As a rule of thumb, your ear should be above your shoulders. So this little, it's called axial load. So this little axial load has been reminding my neck muscles to put my head in a neutral position. And it's been strengthening certain neck muscles that are a little weak. And it's been helping me a lot. So I will keep you guys posted on this journey too. Okay, guys, my commentary breakdown's out.